This is Midnight Club Los Angeles, and I'm not so sure this is as much a driving game as it is Grand Theft Auto Light. All the fun and excitement, but with half the sheer violence and mayhem. It's no surprise this game reminds me of the GTA series and Grand Theft Auto 4 in particular, as this is from Rockstar Games and shares the same engine as Grand Theft Auto 4. It just doesn't have any of the guns and bad language. In order to give this game a teen rating, a Midnight Club concentrates on the driving. I play a lot of driving games here on Classic Game Room, and I've seen several of this style of game over the last year. Fun games that put you in a variety of vehicles in a rather open environment to compete in a variety of different races, win money, and buy new cars. Games like Burnout Paradise, Test Drive Unlimited, and this one, Midnight Club. The city is Los Angeles, and I have to say, I was disappointed that it wasn't Los Santos from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It feels so much like Grand Theft Auto, I wanted that enormous, enormous world that they created for uh, San Andreas. Although the city is large, it does tend to all look the same after a while but it's still a lot of fun to explore. The strength of this game is its sheer fun and entertainment value, not necessarily the racing. You drive cars on roads, but you can hit pretty much anything or run over anything as long as it isn't another vehicle or one of the major buildings. The people seem to jump out of your way no matter how fast you're going, but you can plow down trees, phone poles, mailboxes, telephone booths, and uh, drive through fountains. Right behind you, farm boy! When you're slipstreaming behind one of your opponents, it charges your nitrous boost, which you can then fire off and get a huge burst of speed. And this is a game that should last you a long time. There's a lot to do in this game. And you could easily spend a couple months just exploring, unlocking, winning, and doing everything that there is to do in this game, because it really is immense. Midnight Club rewards you for driving fast and aggressively. You can run your opponents into things, spin them around, smash into them. You basically do whatever you have to do to win the race. The car customization in this game is so in-depth and complex, I'm going to cover that entirely in a, a second part of this review. But there's a number of vehicles in here to choose from, some of the popular brands like the Nissan Skyline, Lamborghini, and two of my favorites, the Datsun Z and the Pontiac Firebird. No doubt a huge chunk of the budget for this game went into music licensing. They have a lot of different styles of music, everything from Nine Inch Nails to Snoop Dogg and more. Been in the curb, swerving, blowing on some rush. The boss has returned, I'm still flying in the pisser. Riding and rolling with them stillers like I'm Pittsburgh. Go against the gang, the main will have your whole click, sir. Nice with the mic things, or I love my yellow game. 400 it'll all night, I got nice aim. Snoop Dogg, how many times I got to show you? You don't want to see this folks to Calvin brought this from the show. If you've played the Grand Theft Auto games, you'll feel right at home with this one except you can't get out of your car and uh, shoot people. When it comes to arcade-style driving in a competitive, aggressive city environment, I preferred Burnout Paradise. This game gets you a lot more involved in missions and tuning your cars and putting graphics all over your cars. And there's a pseudo-storyline told through those cutscenes, and every other word of dialogue is homey. Your fault! And the bottom line here is if you like what you see on screen, you think this looks like fun, it is. For straight driving and exploring, you may want to look at Test Drive Unlimited, but if you want to drive like a maniac in this beautiful rock star created environment, this is the one to go for. Frankly, all the driving games I've mentioned are excellent, so it's a matter of taste. <laughs> 
Anyway, we'll look at some of the car customization and more race footage in part two. See you then.